good evening everybody. Welcome to the Dank Wolf channel. I'm the Dank Wolf and I'm doing my second review on the Karamore boots. These are the Karamore cheetah boots and I've done a review about these about three to four months ago and I did state in that video I would be doing a follow-up review in about three to four months. So here's my follow-up review. I'd like to apologize in advance for the photos I'm using. I was trying to get more active photos of myself using these boots during my heavy workout days from squats and deadlifts um, and other variations of squats and lunges and other active things that I was doing at the gym. Um, but I try to do that discreetly um, in public because I don't like people knowing what I'm up to and what I'm doing and then want to take photos uh, because I get embarrassed easily and it does draw, it does draw attention uh, to you when you are doing those kind of things. So I like to be discreet. So I apologize in advance. But anyway, on to the review. I wanted to say that these boots are upholding very well and the comfortableness, the comfortability, I'm not sure if that's a word, but the comfortability of these boots are upholding very well, very nicely. And I can't say that, and I can say that I can, <laughs> that I'm very happy and I'm very pleased with how these boots are turning out to be so far. Um, as you can see in some of the photos that I have here, I tuck my laces in uh, because I don't use the upper uh, loop straps to use the more additional ankle support if you desire that. No, I don't have a problem with it. It does give you a really good a tight ankle stabilization if you need that, uh, but I don't. And, uh, and I like it to be a little looser on my ankles, so I use them lower which gives me more shoe lice. And um, since I don't want to constantly step on them or trip on them, I tuck them in. And and that's my story on places. <laughs> um, I wanted to also apologize. I couldn't find a lot of the other reviews that were negative. Like I said, it was a 50-50 on them, and I was going to use them again in this review, but for some reason, it's like the internet rebooted on the Caramore Cheetah Boots. Um, that's what this one is. These are the Cheetah Boots. Uh, and I can't find anything. I only found one, one review that I thought was usable for this review that I wanted to include. Um, and this was from bobstores.com. This was from an actual hiker, which is what I wanted to include. Something from an actual hiker, as I'm, I'm not able to do that. But this person gave it three stars. And uh, what their story was is they bought these boots because the price range is attracted to in the first place, which is why I bought them. And this person considers selling, uh, themselves a daily hiker in the New England area, in the woodlands. And they figured that they are not, these boots are not constructed for that, that type of hiking, that they stretch out easily and their laces are showing wear. That's probably because the laces hang a little long, depending on how, they, how you tie them. And they were probably stepping on them too much. That's why I tuck mine in, so I, I have a hard time uh, analyzing that statement from them based on that assumption. So just tuck your laces in if you get these boots. Or just get shorter laces, I suppose. Uh, and then they also stated that the toe cap doesn't absorb water. Um, that it does absorb water. and it, But it doesn't. It hasn't soaked through. Uh, they also added waterproofing just to be safe. Uh, they did say that they are comfortable and stylish. Uh, but they also stated that the boots run a little too small when they were new for them. And they went up a size which is what you need to do when you get these boots. They were saying that when you go up a size that that's not true, that they still don't fit your feet. Um, um, and they stated that for a casual boot they would be fine, but don't buy them for serious hiking. Uh, I want to go to the sizing again and talk about that. Uh, so the proper way that you're supposed to size yourself when you're fitting any footwear in general, and I was told buy someone in the footwear industry, this is what you're supposed to do, and I've used it ever since, and I've never had a problem when I buy f shoes, or boots, footwear. <laughs> so when you are fitting something and you wear it, you take the index finger and you slide it down uh, between your shoe and your heel. If you can slide it down and it's comfortably there, you know, like you can just wiggle it a little bit, but that's the perfect shoe size for you. If it's too tight, don't buy it. You want to or just go up a size. Don't buy it that size, but go up a size. But that's the trick to the industry of buying any footwear. And I'm guessing that this person didn't do that. So I'm going to call shenanigans on their claims. 
is that the boot runs a little bit small. Um, so that's my opinion on that. Uh, anyway, I'd like to say that, you know, as a casual boot, I do agree that these are very good boots. And like I said, I don't do hiking and any of the sorts of that manner. Um, but I do use these for daily activities of walking between an hour to four hours. I, my workouts are four hours long, so my leg day is four hours long of hard weight, heavy weight, a big weight training, you know, from heavy deadlifts to heavy box squats, heavy squats, lunges, Bulgarian lunges, um, you name it, I'm pretty much doing it. Uh, so I put a lot of heavy loads on these boots and a lot of strain. And, um, I have to say that it gives me a lot of fantastic stability um, when I'm doing any kind of training. When I'm deadlifting, they're very stabilized and planted. I don't lean forward. If I do it, I don't get tripped up. Uh, it keeps my feet very stable and where they should be. So I get a really good solid lift out of them. And the same when I'm, when I'm doing squats. It, they stay very planted. I feel very safe in these boots when I wear them. I feel like they're very supportive to me. So it's really nice to wear these in training. I know a lot of people are like, why are you wearing these when you're training? Uh, it's because I usually just wear my regular footwear when I train in general. And uh, I always wear my boots, except for when I'm running, I wear my running shoes, which I should do a review on because those are awesome. Um, but anyway, uh, so the hiker's saying that you shouldn't use them for hiking, but I'm saying you should use them for casual wear, for sure. If you just want a regular boot to wear that looks nice and is very stable and it's very lightweight, I'd recommend these. Now, I'd like to read you the description uh, from the EMS site. Uh, so the description of it tells you that it's suited for hiking outdoors in wet conditions. That these, uh, these are constructed with WTX technology for excellent waterproofing and a vibrant outsole. For exceptional tracking and damp weather, and over a wide range of terrains. A high ankle allows for maximum support when you're outdoors, and ensures your feet can withstand any obstacles thrown your way, while a reinforced toe offers additional protection. Now, I want to talk about the waterproofing on this. I was actually incredibly impressed with the durability of these being soaked. I've had some quite rainy nights where I'm staying, and one night when I left, I tripped and I tripped off the deck, and I fell feet first into a, <laughs> you could say a sinkhole, a huge puddle that turned into a sinkhole where my leg went up almost to my knee, and I was able to pull myself out. Uh, and it was I was just drenched in water. My pants were soaked, but my boots were not, and. The caramooners did not allow any water into the boot, and I checked them too. I, I took the boots off when I got to the gym, and they were just dirty looking, but there was no water on the inside. I mean, I was very impressed by that. That's something that I think is a key thing to footwear, is how they withstand water. And I'd have to say, I haven't been exposed to too much heavy water like that wearing these boots, but just from that experience alone, I'd like to say that that makes them a very, you could say, very, very appealing uh, feature of this footwear because I, I've had other footwear that says they're waterproof. Let's, let's get straight. Things aren't waterproof. They're water resistant. And uh, I've been through really rainy nights going through walks with those and stepping in puddles. And those boots, uh, other boots I've had, just soaked right through. And I was like waterproofing my ass. <laughs> But with these boots, I did not have that problem. I mean, I do like to walk in the rain, and I walk through water, and, and all the sorts, and I must say that these boots are upholding quite well, and it's very impressive to me that they're so well durable in, in such damp weather. Now, it, now they are advertised as a damp weather type of kind of footwear for wet terrains as well, so based on that alone, I'd say you should get these boots. Now, uh, an experienced hiker, they said that they were an avid hiker that did a lot of extreme hiking. 
I'd say if you're a lightweight hiker, I'd give them a try maybe and and see how they work for you. Um, because they are a very supportive boot and they uphold quite nicely and I'm really digging them so far. Now, if I have any further issues with these boots, I will definitely post an updated review on these, but I'm quite pleased with them so far. If there was going to be any wear of show, I think I would have seen it by now from what other statements showed in the past. Just refer to my first review on the boots for that. Um, I don't want to re restate anything I've already reviewed these on, and I would recommend them. So. That's my YouTube review. I'm going to try to put out other reviews on them actually online so those reviews come up on Amazon, EMS, um, so you people so people can just see in general. And I will post updated photos uh, if any issues come to terms. But I highly recommend these get these boots if you are interested in them. They are very affordable. Uh, they're marked down on sale still for some reason. But other than that, I hope that you enjoyed this review. I'm sorry that it's another long review, but I just had long examples in here. I was trying to have a shorter video, but it didn't work out to be that way. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I really hope that you, you know, just gave you some good input on these Caramore boots if you were thinking about them. And uh, if you do end up getting them and you like them, or if you don't like them, just let me know. If I get enough responses to tell me you know, I'm wrong, <laughs> or someone experienced a different problem, I'll make another video on that. But for now, that is my review on the Care More Cheetah Boots, uh, men's sizes, and thank you for watching. I'm the Dank Wolf.